All right, so here I have this problem with this TBS-212 air switch. And this switch is, uh, it takes air in this end here, you put a hose on here, and it blows in there, and it moves um, that white thing forward. Let me see, oops, well that was nice. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can't keep that on there while I blow on there. So it moves the, the white plunger forward and backwards and pushes in that little button there. And it's a pretty simple process, but the new ones, the new switches, I think they're called the, I don't know, maybe they're 312 or another T1212, but not the TBS. Anyways, this part here, this diaphragm is a lot smaller, and when you work it over long distances, it uh, takes a lot more pressure or volume of air than what it can deliver. So what I had to do is I had to take uh, this, the switch part, the part that takes the electrical prongs, I had to take that off of the new one and um, thread these two screws here which are from the light switch boxes. So I believe that's a 632 on my tap and die set here. So I, I took that off of there and uh, I had to drill those holes a little bit bigger through the through the electrical part, but then I had to thread it, put some threads onto there. I could have used some nuts, but this worked pretty nicely, got it nice and tight, and threaded it onto that piece of metal on this diaphragm part and hooked it back together again. And there I have a rebuilt TBS 212 that works great under a long distance, and I've got about 50 feet. So, hope that helps you. It's a pretty easy process. Good luck.